Hey guys, this is Shane here from Echo Soundworks. In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways you can pitch hi-hat rolls inside of Logic 10. So Logic has a couple different ways you can pitch hi-hats. Now, a couple of the methods I don't think are ideal, and I personally don't like using them, but I'm still going to show you how to do them in this video. And there's a couple that are less apparent or less accessible. I feel like most Logic users may not even know about them, so I wanted to just highlight how you can actually pull off hi-hat rolls using the drum instruments, the drum machine plugins inside of Logic 10. So let's dive in and get started. All right, so like I said in the intro, there are pretty much three ways to do this stock or native in Logic X. First way is going to be to load up your hi-hat sample in the, the EXS24 sampler. Now, I don't like this because I don't feel inspired personally to do to create drum grooves and beats when I'm looking at the EXS24. And the EXS24 is just a little bit cumbersome, and I'll show you what I mean by that, especially for something as simple as this. So you, to drag in, you can't just drag a sample onto this window. You have to hit edit. And then from here, you have to find your sample. So we're going to pull in one of our free hip hop samples. I'm just going to drag this in and make sure this blue line here is pitched all the way up. So now I have a pitched hi hat. Right. Now, if I hit X on this, I have to hit save for it to keep those changes. Then I have to name it. And it just becomes a little bit of a shit show just to do a, a pitched hi hat, right? Um, so we'll just, whatever, we'll hit yes, just to get out of that screen. So now I have my pitch hi-hat, right? A little bit cumbersome. Now, my personal favorite way is to, in, in Logic is to actually use Ultra Beat. And a lot of people don't know that you can do this in Ultra Beat. So open up Ultra Beat. And I already have a kit, a default kit saved. I have one called Pitch Kit. I also have a blank one. So you, I think there's a blank one by default. I'm not sure if I made this from scratch. If I, if it isn't there by default. Just go through and delete everything by just right clicking, save it, go up here and hit save, and then you'll be able to access it and then create a pitch kit from there. So basically in Ultra Beat, any of these samples on these different, on these cells, 0, 1 through 24, they uh, just play the sample that you load up. For instance, if we throw a sample in here, let's throw a hi hat in this which is by clicking and dragging, which is really nice, right? You don't have to save the kit or do anything ridiculous. Um, let's do this one more time. There it is. We'll turn it up. All right, there's my kick. Now I literally move that over and we'll turn this on. Right. I can't play this chromatically. Any of these samples will just play what you've loaded in. But this last one will actually play chromatically above it. So let's take that that uh, hi hat that we liked and we'll, we'll drag this in. We'll select that cell and we'll drag it in. What I would do is I'd pitch it down an octave. So at if it was at C3, pitch it down to C2 because now my C4 key is the actual root sample. So now I can pitch it down and up, right? So now what I can do is I can open up my, uh, do it, let's hit escape and hit P. We'll add a new uh, region here, extend this out. And now I can open up my brush or I can do it. I can, you know, do whatever I typically want to do. All right, so I just penciled in a simple hi-hat pattern and we're going to simply add the rolls now. Right, so pitch that one down. Right, we can pitch them up now, and it's very simple. Very easy to make your hi-hat rolls pitched. All right, so you can actually do the same thing using the drum machine designer. So if you're more inclined to use that versus Ultra Beat, you can you can do it as well. So let's go let's go check that out now. So I'm going to load up the drum machine designer, and what you're going to do is you're just going to tab over once with this arrow, which will bring you to the next page. And you want to do this because you want to pop your your sample that you want to you know pitch up and down on the cell that says C3. So these are our note values here. We can see C3, D2, right? So let's just right click on this to clear the cell. And now we can drag in our hi-hat, same, same thing we did in Ultra Beat. And it'll pop it there. So let me turn the volume down. And we again have controls over the pitch, as well as some other controls like decay and pitch fine and volume. So now, let's move this window back over. If we play this, we'll hear a pitched hi-hat. 
Now, the third way is to actually use another sampler that you have access to, and that is the uh, synth called Alchemy, which is a synth slash sampler. Now, then you're just gonna drag in your sample. Now, fun little fact about Alchemy. Uh, it got an update a while ago that allows you to drag directly onto your sources. I still see every YouTuber I ever watch a video of, they still go to uh, the import tab over here. They, they click here and they go import audio. You don't have to do that anymore. You can just click and drag and hold and then select what mode you want to be. So we want this to be sampler. And now we have our hi-hat, right? in the sampler track so I can take this this MIDI down. All right, so that's gonna sum up this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, post those below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing that. The support does mean a lot. And if you do subscribe, consider hitting that notification bell so you get an update when we release a new video. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.